going to be doing a review over the Alienware X51, so let's hop right into it. First thing off the bat that you quickly realize is that there's no power button whatsoever. So at the very top they decide to add a power button that looks rather weird in my opinion and you have to push at the very bottom of it to boot it on, turn it off, that kind of thing. And then there is two USBs right here and then there is a headphone jack, let me get in very close, headphone jack and then there's an audio jack or what you could say a microphone jack. And there's a, an optical drive, it's really fast. And that, at the very bottom there's a very shiny looking Alienware, and you can see my camera. But there's an Alienware logo, and at the bottom there's a cooling kind of thing. And then over here on the side, there is like some weird kind of code kind of thing. And then over here they decide to add some LEDs. There's like a line across. Some LEDs, which you can change in the program that's added with the computer. And then whenever you get over here, in the very back, there is just some ports you'll probably never use, honestly. But there's a headphone thing, which is pointless because there's one in the front. There's an HDMI. Then there is two, four, oh, okay, yeah, there's four regular USB 2.0s. And there's two 3.0 USBs, which are really good. And there's a bunch of, like, audio jacks that you'll probably never use unless you're a hardcore gamer. They like to do recording, which I'm not, so... And then there is two DVI ports, which is pointless because HDMI is better than DVI, but whatever. Then there's another HDMI right here. And then there is yet another kind of you know, um, HDMI port, which is pointless because there's three of them. But, I mean, I wouldn't say it's pointless because you might want a three-monitor kind of setup. And then right here, there's just, like, some information on it. The camera wants to focus. I guess not, but... Then there is the Core i7 Intel kind of processor. It's really good. And so moving on, it's the same concept design except there is no like kind of weird wording on the side. Just to, like touch up or like not wording, but whatever it is, like alien. It's like alien or speech alien. So next on to the bottom of it. Here we have our flipped over Alienware computer. Not sure if I should be doing this, but at the very bottom is where all the cooling is. Like, they have all the fans in there and everything. But there is no, like, LED kind of thing. The only LED there is, is on the Alienware logo and the two sides. So, time to look at some specs. Okay guys, now that I'm on max settings, let me show you how many frames per second I get on Minecraft. Usually I get around 45, 40, 47. Nothing crazy, kind of dips below 60, but let me show you with low settings. Okay, on the lowest possible settings, I get around, let's see here, 500, 470, around there. But whenever not recording, I usually get around 800 to 900. I even got above 1000 before on this, but this is absolutely unplayable because you really can't see around. So, time to move on to the next game.
Okay, so here we have CSGO. It's really a fun game. And most people like to play it. And it really does not drop below 60 frames per second a whole lot. I mean, it does here and there. Setting. I'm just shooting around being crazy. On that setting, it doesn't do a whole lot, which is really good. And let me just go to video settings. Like everything is on high. Nothing's on low because I mean, why would I play that? Whatever, it's already perfect. And there's no lag whatsoever, which is awesome. I hope y'all enjoyed that in-depth review of the Alienware X51. I hope you were impressed by how good it was, because I definitely was. And really, it conquers almost any game at high to medium max settings. And hopefully I'll be able to do another kind of video of this. If y'all enjoy, be sure to tell me down in the comments. Be sure to like and subscribe. And peace out. Yo!